Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Today's article is entitled An Ambassador in an Auto Rickshaw. So an ambassador is a person who represents the country, right? And they deal with other countries and have good relationships. So an ambassador in an auto rickshaw. A rickshaw is kind of like this vehicle. It has three wheels. It has a small wheel in the front and two smaller wheels in the back. And it's not really a car, but it's something that people use to ride in. Usually a few people can ride in it. And that's an auto rickshaw, meaning that it's kind of like a car. So a rickshaw is that kind of machine or that kind of vehicle. And an ambassador is in one of those. So let's find out uh, what this article is about. It says Mexico's ambassador to India. So this is the person from Mexico whose job is to continuously talk to uh, and have a good relationship with India. And her name is Melba Priya, has received a positive response from the people of India. Uh, she has been using an auto rickshaw as her official transport instead of an expensive car. So usually people like ambassadors who are very important to the country, they drive around in these very expensive cars, but not Melba Priya. Uh, this ambassador from Mexico uh, decided that I'm going to use an auto rickshaw and the people of India, they applauded her. They said, wow, she's very different, right? So let's find out why. Auto rickshaws are one of the most popular methods of public transportation in India. So in the country of India, they use these auto rickshaws a lot. Uh, it's one of the most popular ways to get from place to place. It's a public transportation. So here in Korea, we have taxis and buses and trains uh, and subways. But here uh, in India, they use uh, the auto rickshaw. So if you go to India, you'll see a lot of those on the streets. However, no high ranking officials use auto rickshaws as they are regarded as vehicles of ordinary or poor people. So the, the high ranking people, the people with government jobs, people like uh, the ambassadors in the country of India, they don't use uh, auto rickshaws because they think that those are vehicles of ordinary or poor people. They say that that's only what poor people use. So a lot of the officials um, do not use them. They are not allowed to enter hotels and even parliament. So they, if you drive a, an auto rickshaw, you cannot pull it up and you cannot go into a hotel because the hotel says, eh, get that car out of here. And same thing for the parliament, the government buildings. You cannot drive uh, auto rickshaw into those areas because they feel like it doesn't belong. It's for poorer people and they shouldn't be in those nice places. Uh, however, she selected it to promote Mexico in an Indian way. So the reason why this person chose uh, to use this auto rickshaw was so that the people in India and, and Mexico can have a better relationship. So she's reaching out and using some of the other culture. It says, moreover, she wanted to use a vehicle that is made for Indian streets. In addition, she is concerned about the air quality of India. Rickshaws produce less air pollution than automobiles. So she's thinking uh, that in India, uh, there are many people who use it and it's better for the environment because automobiles, regular cars, create more pollution. So she thought that it's better for Indian streets. It's better for the Indian uh, country and the atmosphere. So in the environment, she thought as a leader of the country, she should be a good example. And that's what she's using. Her iconic vehicle also underwent another remodeling with Mexican street artists, uh, Senko drawing bright yellow and orange flowers on the roof. So her iconic, that means everyone knows it. It's very famous. Her famous rickshaw, they remodeled it or changed the design. So a Mexican street artist was able to design and paint it with bright yellow and orange flowers on the top of the car, on the roof. So you can see where this ambassador's rickshaw is because it's very different. According to the artist, they represent the vitality of Mexico. So vitality means like the living spirit, right? So it, it, the art, the picture shows how alive and um, how fun Mexico can be. As her auto rickshaw has become a representation of Mexico, it was the perfect choice. So they're saying that not only her car uh, is a good representation, it's a good reflection, right? It's a good um, model for the country of Mexico that it needs to be different. It needs to take other culture. It needs to show that you're doing your best to help the environment. So all of that 
is one of the reasons is some or some of the reasons why the ambassador decided to use the rickshaw so the rickshaw is more popular in india but as uh, mexico's ambassador as a representative of that country uh, who deals with india a lot she decided let's take something from india and be able to use it and raise awareness so more and more people not only in india but also in mexico they're aware of it's not about always being fancy and being uh, and having the most expensive things, but it's a person as a leader showing that this is important and I'm not afraid to kind of go against what people think. So this is very interesting, very bold and strong, courageous move from uh, an ambassador. So very interesting. Um, we see a lot of ambassadors uh, traveling in very fancy cars, but not her, right? Melba Priya is uh, deciding uh, to change kind of the way that we do things uh, as far as ambassadors are concerned. So what is Mexico's ambassador to India, Melba Priya, using, has, uh, using as her official transport? So when she goes from one place to another in her transport uh, and the government is providing that, is giving that to her, what did she choose to use as her car? So it's not a fancy limousine, it's not a fancy car, but instead we've been talking about it all throughout the article. What was it called? And it's an auto rickshaw. So rickshaw is that small kind of vehicle and auto means that it runs with a motor. So why don't other high ranking officials use auto rickshaws? Is it too small? Is it too slow? What was the problem with it? Remember, it couldn't even get into a lot of the hotels or even the parliament, the government buildings because they aren't regarded as vehicles of uh, they are regarded as vehicles of ordinary or poor people. So a lot of people think that rickshaws are only used by poor people. Uh, so that's why a lot of high ranking uh, top officials in the government do not use the rickshaws. But she's different. Uh, what did Mexican street artist uh, Senko draw on the roof? So what pictures did she, did he draw some pictures of uh, animals? What is it that he drew? And it represents the Mexican spirit. So he drew very colorful bright and yellow orange uh, flowers. So he drew things that were kind of, you know, what represents her as well as the country. So very nice. Let's look at the last part, fill in the blank uh, for our reading for today. So it says auto rickshaws are one of the most popular methods of something in India. So it's used to get people from one place to another. Uh, it's used so that people uh, can travel. So what is it? Popular methods of, and a lot of people use it. So it's public transportation. So in Korea, our public transportation is used by a lot of people like buses and taxis. But in India, they use the auto rickshaws. So here, B says they are not allowed to enter hotels and even. What was the, the government building called? And it starts with a P. The government buildings are known as the parliament. And the last question here, it says she wanted to use a blank that is made for Indian streets. So what does she want to use? The Indian streets um, may not be as uh, wide or as strong as the other roads uh, around the world. So she wanted to use a lighter uh, form of transportation. So she wanted to use a, a vehicle. So when we use like a car or anything that we can ride in and it has a motor, we call that a vehicle. So uh, the ambassador has decided, you know what, I'm not going to use a lot of money in my transportation, but instead, because my relationship is with India, I'm going to use something that's part of their culture. So people like that, I believe, are understanding that's how you do your job. So if you're trying to build a better relationship with another country, it's a very good idea to kind of learn what's uh, very important in another culture. So the ambassador, as a representative of her country, is taking the first step and saying, you know what, I want to use some of their culture in our country as well. So very uh, bold, very strong uh, decision, very courageous thing to do for a leader uh, of a country. So I hope you learned a lot from today's uh, lesson today. And if you ever go to India, check out the rickshaws and maybe we'll see that more in other countries, developing countries around the world. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.